What is going on everyone? Welcome back to CJC Cards. Today I have a little bit of retail top series one baseball. I wanted to do a video kind of comparing what you get out of a hobby box for the dollar amount to what you can get um, out of uh, retail for the same price. So this is uh, $75 worth of retail. Um, I have 26. Um, these are um, gravity feed packs, and I have, you can count one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine of these uh, hanger packs. These have 34 cards. Um, so we're gonna see, we're gonna look for those big rookies that you can get out of series one. I do apologize. <coughs> I'm feeling a little under the weather. So if I cough, I'll do my best to do it off camera so you don't have to put up with me coughing in the video, but we are going to go through some of these pretty quick, looking for just the big rookies, any sort, see uh, if we can hit any um, parallels, like I already have a foil card there, that's pretty cool. Uh, Francisco Lindor foil, that's not terrible. Cool card. And in the uh, retail, you get these Vlad um, moment cards and as well as these little turkey red cards. So those are cool, those are gonna be in retail. So nothing, no rookies out of that pack. I had good success with my hobby box of 2020 series one, so we'll see what happens here. Eloy Gold Cup, put that aside, that's a good one. Roll this Chapman. Jalen Davis, rookie card, I suppose, will do it. Xander Bogarts, 35. And uh, Altuve. I think, I unfortunately, I really like Altuve as a player, but how, how much can you really like the guy anymore or root for him at this point? You know, he did, uh, he's a cheater. Like, that's just what it is. He is a cheater. I think what the Astros did is, Way worse than what Pete Rose did. So let me know what you guys think. I know the scandal's been going on for a while, but let me know what you guys think of the whole Astros situation. It's a mess. It really is. And I don't think the commissioner handled it well at all. Uh, Trent Grissom, I guess put that aside. LA Dodgers. Oh, we got a chrome. Oh, I like that they do this too. This is going to be a chrome turkey red out of retail, and it's a Lindor. So Lindor is kind of following us around a little bit. These look really cool. Turkey red, chrome. Cool card for sure. And a Gliber Torres. Kristen Stewart and Jose Uricoy. Yeah, um, it's just been kind of a jumbled situation. I think the Commissioner Manfred has kind of uh, done a pretty horrible job of damage control or taking responsibility or calling people out for what they've done. Devers, Turkey Red, Ian Kinsler no longer in the lead. I think uh, what should have been done is the play. Oh, there we go. There's a good one. That's what we like to see. Yordan. We'll see how many of those we get in all these packs, but definitely a good one to put aside. Jordan Yamamoto. Mike Trout. Top's choice card. and Black. Oh, wow. We actually got a numbered card. So that's a very interesting pack. So Mike Trout, cool card. I think that's the 1965 Topps design. I like those. We got a black Vlad Ribby Party. These are numbered to 299. Cool card. And a Nico Horner Topps rookie card, turkey red. He's supposed to be a really good rookie. Maybe the Cubs second baseman of 2020, he showed promise. 
yeah, there's obviously a lot of sickness going around, so do what you can to stay healthy and inside. It's not fun. It's not a good time. These are all upside down. Jimenez, Toro, Votto, Steven Matz, New York Mets, home run challenge. We got another Vlad card. I think you get one per pack. Um, Turkey Red, Bryce Harper. And behind that, Pete Alonzo Gold Rookie Cup. Cool card there. I think if you can get numbered cards and foil cards out of retail, it's the way to go. It just seems I got more packs than I would in a hobby box for the same price as one hobby box. I'm really high on this guy. I really hope he turns out. Plus, I'm an A's fan, so I'm a little bit biased, but he's supposed to be a beast. So I'm excited about him. Starling Castro, another Jordan Yamamoto. Vlad, Rookie Cup. Mitch Hanniger, Juan Soto World Series card. Uh, Tim Anderson and a gold Mike Fryers. Mike Fryers, he's uh, the guy that started the whole deal, speaking on that. That's 128 out of 220. So gold Mike Fires. And Anderson, Mike Moustakis, who is the Reds. Probably going to be the second baseman for the Cincinnati Reds this season. So that's kind of exciting. The Reds are looking good. Or on paper, they, they look really good. Tyler Alexander. Santana, Glyber Torres, Garrett Cole, Caleb Smith, Max Scherzer. Oh, there's a cool one. Turkey Red for uh, Jordan Alvarez. Of course, right when I start recording, my nose decides to start running like crazy. AJ Putz, big on him. Neil, Aaron Nola, Willie Adamas, Tim and Yolman, Astros, Albies, and Chavis. Cool. So we are still rolling. I'm going to switch to a hanger pack here in a second, do a couple of those to break up the monotony. Alberto Mora, Pete Alonzo, League Leader, Yolmer. Zach Collins, Pat Carpenter. Oh, nice little Jordan Yamamoto, 1985 tops. Cool card there. Yelich, Turkey Red, Sean Murphy. Like him a lot, too. Uh, let's do this last one. So I feel like this was an excellent deal. I have, I'm going to get way more cards in this in this opening than I did in my hobby box opening. So Jose Martinez, Kevin Biggio, Chigalito, Turkey Red, Kikuchi. See if he bounces back. He did not look super good his rookie year. So these say you can look for autos and relics, so we'll see what happens in these. Nico Horner, right off the bat, good rookie. Future Stars, Nick Solak. Mm -mm. I always just keep every rookie just because you never really know. Oh, there's a Trevor Richards gold. That's pretty cool. Don't know much about him, but that's numbered, so that's always good. Cody Bellinger, that's super off-center card, but... On the 1991 Topps baseball card. And Garrett Cole, Cody Bellinger, Hunter Renfro. Eloy Gold Cup. Keep those. Those are cool looking cards. Oh man, I do apologize for any sounds that may gross someone out, but. 
pretty weird how as soon as I start recording, my nose decides to become a faucet. Brendan McKay, he should be interesting this year. I wonder how Rays are gonna use him exactly. He's a two-way player. Alex Young. Collins. I'm kind of over Jeff Samarja as a uh, giant, but I think they're gonna get rid of him soon. Gavin Lux, Turkey Red, that's a good one. Or try to trade him at the deadline. I do apologize if these are upside down. You can't see them. They're upside down again now. Christian Yelich. Enrique. Let's do another one of these. We'll go back to the... Uh... There was a lot more of these at my target, so if they're still there... Next week, I may go back and, or maybe they'll replenish or have some blasters for me. Travis Demerit. All right, let's see. Zach Gallon, he's a good uh, rookie for the Diamondbacks. Urshela, Molina, Lindor again. Throwing cards. James Paxton, Dylan Cease. That White Sox pitching staff could be interesting as well with uh, Cease and Kopech, if Kopech can stay healthy. Looks like Brian Anderson and Mike Moustakas are in the same print run because they're all right behind each other. Always. Alberto, we're gonna have a foil, so we'll see. See what happens. Juan Soto, one of my, one of the most exciting players to watch, of course. Matthew Boyd, Austin Meadows, excellent player as well. It's going to be a Jeff McNeil, future stars, foil. That's actually really cool. He's really underrated, I think. I don't think a lot of people pay attention to uh, Jeff McNeil. Verlander, Pavetta. <coughs> it's definitely a very good time for me. It's just such a weird... Um, with the scandal going on, is like... And baseball doesn't really get a huge national news following, so... Is it good for baseball or is it bad for baseball that they're in the news the way that they're in the news? It's it's just tough. Um, there's so much young talent to be excited about. And the one guy you really kind of want to hear from is Mike Trout. Because I think if you don't know baseball, you know who Mike Trout is. Oh, there's another Jordan. It's a good one. Two Jordans. That's good. Starling Castro, Jordan Yamamoto again. Um, you want to hear from Mike Trout and what he thinks, and you want him to be vocal, but he's never been a vocal guy. So I'm really high on Nick Senzel as well. I just don't know where he's going to fit into that mess of an outfield in Cincinnati. He's the face of baseball who never speaks. So that's really tough. I think Cody Bellinger did an excellent job by calling out the Astros. I liked what he had to say. Um, and I think he could be the face of baseball. He's young, talented, and he's a handsome dude. So, you know. Roll with it, baseball. But is uh, bad PR good PR? Or is any PR good PR? I suppose is the question. This is going to be a little bit of a longer video, but I'm getting through these okay. I'm going to definitely speed it up a little bit. Betty Brock. I love that picture. It's a cool Brock Holt picture. CJ Crone, Aaron Noah, Castillo, and Stockis. 
getting a lot of Moustakas. He's at the end of all these packs. Talkman, I think he might be possible center fielder. I feel pretty bad for Clint Frazier. He's still got minor league options, and they're going to play with those for sure. He's so talented, but... Home run challenge. He just hasn't capitalized on his opportunities when he's been there. He, got, he keeps getting hurt. Anthony Rendon, new angel. So he'll be an angel in Topps update. Mike Soroka, gold rookie cup. Excited about his future as well. Future star, Yomor, Zach Collins, Matt Carpenter, Sakuni Jr., JT Riddle. All right, so we got 10 more of these and five more of the hanger pack. So we're rolling. I'm shooting for 25 minutes. That's the goal. Joey Lucchesi, Brendan McKay. Lourdes Goriel, Holtzen, Max Muncy, not terrible, Pete Alonzo, Turkey Red, Stassi, Adrian Morejon. Hey, there's our first uh, Aristides. Aristides Aquino, one of the rookies you want to look for out of this set. Austin Riley. Yeah, about Sanchez. Trent Grisham, Kurt Suzuki. And one of my favorite players. Actually, I, I could probably confidently say that this fan is my favorite player in baseball right now. Matt Chapman. Doesn't get any love because he's in Oakland, but... He doesn't really get much hobby love either. He's just kind of a, he's the one of the best third basemen in the majors, guys. Dylan Cease again. Always worth keeping these rookie cards around, Matt Thais. You never know what you're gonna have later on down the road, you know? It's gonna be a blue, Vlad Guerrero Jr. I don't think those are numbered. They're not, but they are cool looking. Blue of Vlad. Those are for sure short printed. I think you can find out online what those are short printed to. Oh man. Rolling right along. Michael Burso. I've seen him play a little bit. He's got a little bit of pop. Tyler White, Dustin May, first Dustin May sighting. One another one you want to look for out of this set. But you guys probably all know who you're looking for after watching countless videos. 2020 decades next. Cody Bellinger just talked about him. That's a uh, another one. I think that's a blue. Another blue. Alex Bregman, Asterix all around his future career as well. The sad part is I think Altuve was on a uh, Hall of Fame path with hitting, and he was possibly a future 3,000 hit guy. But now, like what? Now what? Is it valid? I think all those Astros have to prove this year. They have a lot to prove. Juan Soto, Jesse Winker, and Pete Alonso, rookie cup. Got a foil, so we'll see. Yastrzemski, Gonzalez, Melky, Eduardo, Rodriguez, Ryan Presley, Tyler O'Neill is going to be our foil. He's supposed to be pretty good, so I'm excited about seeing how he turns out. 
and uh, Frankie Henderson from the A's. Always fun. Mike Fire. So I will say, out of the same amount of money spent on retail, I've gotten more foil and more gold than I got out of um, that's a Nico Horner rookie card. More foils and more golds than I got out of uh, my hobby boxes. So that's pretty exciting. New York Mets and a Shohei Otani. Go uh, tops chrome turkey red. Those look really cool. Like those are beautiful looking cards. That'd be a cool set to put together. And this is Dad Vlad. Dad Vlad. Chris Bryant. All right. Dad Vlad. We are rolling, guys. We are almost done. Thank you all so much for sticking around if you've watched this entire thing. Ian Devman, Luis Castillo. If you guys watch these and find that I missed any short prints or anything like that, um, just let me know. I know a few of you have done that in the past, and it's I'm super grateful for it because I've missed a lot of things combing through these so quickly and trying to keep these videos under an hour or 45 minutes, so. Max Muncy. We always are getting that guy. Wade Davis, Votto, Anthony Rizzo, Turkey Red, and there they are, look. Dynamic duo. Brian Anderson, Mike Moustakis. Okay, this is our last, uh, Gravity Feed Pack. We're going to have another Chrome Turkey Red. J.P. Crawford. I'll be interested to see what kind of season he puts together. Kyle Lewis. This is another good rookie. Let's see what he does this season. Bump Starling rookie. He's older, but still cool. Amir Garrett. And, ooh, cool. Little Nick Senzel. Nick Senzel. Rookie, not a rookie, but turkey red chrome and Noah Syndergaard. And a cool Bo Bichette turkey red rookie card. All right, we have five cards, five packs of these uh, hanger packs. I took all of these off the shelf. These were cleared out by me um, when I saw them. There were no blast boxes, so I did not get any of those. So we are going to keep rolling through and seeing what comes out. Jake Lamb, Ben Gamble. We got a Trevor Bauer. A Reds card. Gonna hold down that rotation. Albies, Otani. A Brave rookie card. Alexander. Dude. Buys again. Jeff Rojas. So once you open a lot of this stuff, you can kind of see where these cards are going to fall in the print. Like if you see a guy, you know, oh, that this guy's coming up next. Or I can expect to see this card. Nico Horner. Because Nico Horner is always followed by Justin Turner, which is then followed by Oscar Mercado. So... These things all happen, so that's just the way they're packaged. Oh, we're going to get a, uh, what is that? Oh, oh, that's not bad at all. You want these foil rookie cards for sure, and that is a PC card. So I am very happy with that. Sean Murphy, foil rookie card. Jose Altuve. Chris Archer, Albert Pujols, Cody Bellinger. So we'll see. 
What else we get? We got three more packs. 34 cards per pack. So you open five of these. I think I'm going to be able to build with between the hobby boxes and um, these. I'll be able to build a couple complete sets, which is always fun. I always enjoy doing that every year. The corners of these are a little messed up on the top left, but this is going to be a Christian Yelich. Uh, chrome turkey red. Really nice looking. I love those. Chris Bryant, 1985 tops. Tim Anderson, Miguel Cabrera. Ooh, man, I bet those Tigers are starting to regret that contract. It's got to start to hurt a little bit. The guy just can't stay healthy anymore. Two more. VR, I think he's a Marlin now. Mayhew, Judge, Soto. Close call, we're gonna have another one. It's gonna be JD Martinez. Chrome. Jose Barrios. Chris Bryant, another Martinez. Oh, there's a little, another Aristides. So I'm stacking some Aristides. Those are good to have on hand. You don't. I don't know about him really. I, I think uh, he kind of got a little bit exposed towards the end there. So we'll see if he adjusts. Last pack. If you made it to this point, I am grateful that you've watched this entire video. It means a lot to me. Um, hope you enjoyed. Let's see. Do we have anything crazy coming up? No, we don't. Oh, it's going to be a... Oh, wow. Okay. Um, I see a short print. <laughs> I don't know. I'll have to look up what how short that is, but... Did not mean to speed through, but it's going to be a Honus Wagner SP. That's really cool. Yeah, that's just a short print. That's super nice looking. Lorenzo Kane, Mike Stanton. Let's see if we get any rookies. I think, uh, oh, there's another Aristides because I just saw the print run. Domus. All right. And another Sean Murphy to top off the retail opening. So, got a good stack of rookies, got some more Yordans. Um, exactly what I wanted out of these retail packs. I think, bang for your buck, I've spent $75. That's the cost of one hobby box, 24 packs, 10 cards per pack, I believe it is. I have gotten way more than that for in retail uh, just now. And I got some turkey red tops chrome, which looks really nice. Uh, more foil and more gold cards than I got in opening a hobby box. So I highly recommend if you can find some retail at your local Target or Walmart, uh, pick it up and buy up as much of it as you can. Thank you all for watching. I hope you enjoyed this longer video. If you didn't stay around for the whole thing, uh, whether you watched five minutes, 10 minutes, 15 minutes, I'm grateful for all of it. Uh, I hope to see you guys all soon. Have a wonderful day and keep collecting what you love.